Hi, Olivia Boudreau, I'm here. I have a question for you. Are you afraid of needles? I'd say about 80% of you. But I know that 100% of you would not want to contract any kind of infectious disease. And unfortunately, if you don't get that needle and vaccinate yourself against some of those diseases out there, when you are traveling to some of these high-risk areas, that's exactly what can happen. That's what we're going to be talking about today. Immunizing yourself before your next trip. Now, why do we want to talk about immunizations today? Have you taken a look outside? A lot of us want to get away from this. Now, I know not all of us, but a lot of us do. We want to seek sun and warmth. But unfortunately, that sun and that warmth comes with some of its own precautions. Some of those precautions we've already talked about in a previous video that I did on the Zika virus. So please go ahead and review that to get some more information. What I want to focus on today briefly is just to go over some of the vaccinations that you might need before you travel to some of these places. So the first one we want to make sure that you're covered for is your tetanus shot. The tetanus shot is usually done every 10 years, so we want to make sure that that one is up to date before you travel. That is something that if you puncture your skin in any way, that could be from an animal bite or actually puncturing your skin with something like the, a metal, stepping on that rusty nail, these are ways that actually tetani bacterium can get into the bloodstream and actually can be a life-threatening situation and that is something that you just don't want to deal with when you're away so you want to make sure that that one is up to date before you leave the other one that we want to make sure that is um, covered off is hepatitis now the hepatitis that we're talking about here is specifically a and b now there is c as well and there are some others but those are the three that we know of but c there is no vaccine for it so we're not going to be talking about that today i want to focus on a and b first off a Hepatitis A is contracted when you come in contact with any kind of fecal contamination. So if you are going to any of these regions that they have poor sanitation, they have poor water quality, and they're using that to wash fruits and vegetables and make ice, these are ways that you can actually be ingesting it and the, another way that you can actually get the disease itself. So you want to make sure that you're protected with hepatitis A and get that vaccination for that. So the next one we want to talk about then is hepatitis B. Hepatitis B is body fluids. And if you are traveling somewhere where their healthcare practice is not as on the same standards as ours, and you were to be sick or injured while away, you put yourself at risk according to their practices. So if you needed stitches or required blood, this is a way that you could actually contract hepatitis B. So you can get A and B separately, but the one that we're familiar with is the Twin Ricks vaccine. This is the one that you see on the commercials. This is the same one that you see in magazines. And this is going to cover you for both A and B. It is a series of three shots. You get your initial shot, or one month later you'll get your second shot. Once you have those first two shots, four weeks from the second shot, so a total of two months, you will actually have full protection for hepatitis A and B. Now, six months from the first shot, you're going to come and get the third shot done. That is considered a booster shot, and that booster shot is going to give you the lifetime protection. So that forms the foundation for your adult vaccinations. You're going to have your tetanus up to date and you're going to have completed the hepatitis series. There are some regions that you will go to that you're going to need over and above that. This is a good opportunity to reach out to your travel advisory that is in your region. I will leave a description of the website down below for the travel advisory for Canada. All you have to do is go to that website, you type in the destination that you're going to and it will give Give you a readout as to what is probably necessary. Then you will take a trip to your local travel clinic and have a travel consultation there where they will give you your immunizations that are necessary, any prescriptions or any medications that are needed and also give you a detail of the precautions that you're going to need for that area. I hope the information that I've given you today has been extremely helpful. Thank you so much for tuning into this channel. 
definitely go ahead and subscribe so that you can continue to see more videos like this. Think healthy, stay safe before your next trip. That forms the foundation 